Hello and welcome. My name is Lola, and on this channel, we're talking about learning English as a second language. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the ways to express our agreement. Yes, yes, yes. But we want to be more eloquent. That's why we learn other phrases. <laughs> By the way, my friend, consider subscribing to our channel so you won't miss other content and it helps us to create better content for you. So I arranged the phrases for you from low level of agreement, not very low, but lower-ish, to the strong level of agreement. Number one, that makes sense. Usually we say it after hearing an explanation. Like, why did you do this? Oh, 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 that makes sense. So you kind of acknowledge the fact that the person had her or his reasons to do that. It makes sense. By the way, do you hear how I pronounce it? I don't say it makes sense because makes ends with S. Sense starts with S. That's why we put them together and we pronounce one S. That makes sense. Does it make sense? Oh, that makes sense, Lola. Why would we pronounce it twice, hmm? You're agreeing with me. Number two, that's a good point. Usually in a discussion, when we bring the arguments, for example, that's because this. <laughs> What a clear, what a great example. That's because of this. For example, if we eat first and then go for a walk, it's better for our health because, you know, we can eat a dessert and then we'll burn some calories while walking rather than we walk and then eat. And you're like, mm, that's a good point. Like, I see where you're coming from. I see why you're suggesting it. So it's a good point. Next one, short but clear. Exactly. Usually use in the response when someone's summarizing your thoughts. For example, you're so tired. And like, why, why doesn't she want to join us for a movie? And I'm like, because, and let's say your husband says like, because she's been working eight hours, you know, so she's tired and she just wants to go home. And I'm like, exactly. Thanks. Thanks for explaining it. By the way, have you noticed? Oh, I love this pronunciation tips. Exactly. I'm not saying exactly. This T disappears. Exactly. It happens very often in American English. And by the way, we're talking about that in our pronunciation challenge. So if you want to subscribe, you'll find the link below. But feel free to miss it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. No tea. Ha <laughs> ha. No tea. Like no tea. Exactly. Like you're not pronouncing it. Exactly. Or another variation of that phrase is, that's exactly what I was thinking. And I love that because it's when somebody takes it out of your mouth. Oh, that's another phrase, but just a second. That's exactly what I was thinking. Sometimes your friend knows you better and that's why you, you, you're you just thinking about it and somebody's speaking it out already and you're like, that's exactly what I was thinking. Going back to what I mentioned before, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> when someone says, write what you were about to say, they were first. So it seems like they took the words Exactly, right out of your mouth. Or colloquial version of that, I was just gonna say that. Oh, this one is actually more popular. I was just gonna say that. Like I, I've, I've already opened my mouth. I was just gonna say that, <laughs> but he did it already. Moving forward, agreeing more with a phrase, I agree completely. A lot of people make mistake by saying, I'm agree. But agree is a verb. That's why we don't need am, right? You could say, I'm agreeing, right? Using present continuous. But usually we say, I agree. And 
when you agree completely, you say that. I agree completely. There is no need to repeat your opinion because it was spoken out by someone. And all you have to do is agree. I agree completely. Phrase number seven, I'm with you 100%. Oh my God, I love that. I'm with you 100%. We use that to support someone's opinion uh, in a discussion, let's say at work. Uh, you're in a process of figuring out things and somebody expresses an opinion that you agree with and you could say, I'm with you 100%. Like, I think the same. Yes, 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 yes to that. <laughs> Not 99%, but 100%. Great way to agree. The next one is very popular. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And we use it to acknowledge someone's correct opinion or idea. Um, I use it when an idea by someone was spoken out, like, you know, <laughs> going back to dinner and walking. <laughs> Why? I need to walk to have a dinner. What? Let's say at a marketing meeting, somebody says like, it's a great idea, it's a new trend. If we're not doing it now, tomorrow, it'll be done by hundreds other companies. And you're like, you know what? You're absolutely right. I agree with your conclusions. So let's act on it. Or everyday life, short version of that agreement is absolutely, oh, I love that. When somebody's like this and this, and you're like, absolutely, you know? I'm with you fully, no need to use long phrases. Absolutely, strongly agreeing with the suggestion. Like, absolutely, let's start tomorrow. <laughs> Should we join gym? <laughs> absolutely, let's do it tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. And the last but not the least, I couldn't agree more. I love this phrase because it's a strong level of agreement, but it's very polite. Instead of, uh, usually, I mean, depends on the environment. Let's say you're in a business environment where um, it's not common to express emotions, right? Because we're all robbers. So instead of saying, yes, 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 you would say, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Meaning inside you feel like, yes, yes, Absolutely. And finishing this video, I just want to say it's a great skill to be able to say no, but also I'm so happy to meet a lot of people who are willing to say yes to things. So I hope you'll be using these phrases and they will help you with your English. If you want to practice pronouncing them, jump on Lola Speak app, find the pack, YouTube, find this video, how to express agreement, and work out these phrases, pronouncing them, getting feedback on your pronunciation, and improving your mistakes. My name is Lola, and I'll see you next Friday.